What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Outdoor Chef Life. I'm Taku and we're doing a little crabbing today. Now I'm gonna drop you down. We're four traps down. Now we wait. All right, here we go. The first crab trap coming up. There's a Look few in there. there. Oh, and a big old rock crab. Oh, that is a big rock crab. Oh, might be under. It's not loaded. It's not loaded. Nice rock crab right here, though. Got one big claw. That's I a key. Yeah, that's way short. Yeah, short. This one is good. Nice. Keeper Dungy. Yeah, male. Male. And, rock and we got one big rock crab too. All right, two crabs out of that pot. Here we go, pot number two. Let's go. Pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is there one on top? One on top. Is that a big rock crab on top? Two rock crab, one dungeness so far. That's not good. Not that, not very good. All right, pot number three. Is this three? Yeah. This is three. There you go. Oh, there's only rock crab. Yeah. Look at it, small. Yeah. Got an all about face gun. All the baits gone. Last spot. This is uh, do or die right here. Oh, sh dang! Yeah, this is way better. Oh, man. Oh, nice. Yeah. Ooh, feisty. Just barely, yeah. Yeah. We got a nice, nice big one behind me. That looks like a keeper, that one looks too. Looks like it's good. Yeah. Yeah. There's one under there. Now. This is, looks uh, pretty small. Questionable. Oh, a little, little small. Yeah. yeah little very low. There's a big one behind me. The one that's behind nice your feet. Big male right oh, here. Yeah, that's you want it? All right, and now we're back, and I have with me here a Dungeness crab. Nice male Dungeness crab. There it is. And I also have one male rock crab. So we ended up keeping one Dungeness crabs each and that's all we got. And then the rock crab, we got a couple of those too. I've never tasted these side by side. I've only tasted them separately, but I have eaten rock crab a lot of times and Dungeness crab many times as well. So I want to do a little comparison and also a blind test, a blind taste test and see if I can tell the difference between rock crab and Dungeness crab, all right? And just by taste alone. So we're gonna cook, those, cook these up first. Then I'm also gonna make a California roll. So I did that one time with rock crab, but never with the Dungeness crab. So I wanna make some California rolls probably separately as well. And uh, we'll do the taste test for those too, all right? Let's get started. By the way, Outdoor Chef Life knife bags are back in stock. So if you guys want to get one, limited amount on my website, OutdoorChefLife.com. I got boiling salt water right here. I'm just going to toss them right in, both of them. Bam. I'm going to show you guys the easiest way to make sushi rice. Short grain rice. Always use short grain rice for sushi rice. That's one thing. And also, always wash your rice at least three times. So I'm gonna do that here. And all you're gonna do is just, just like that. Just rinse it lightly, not too hard. If you break the rice grains, then more starch will be coming out. The reason why you wash the rice is all of this. That, that white is all starch. That's what makes the rice sticky and you don't want it to be too sticky. So. 
I'm just gonna wash three times because that's all I have the water for. And you see it's already, the water's already clear. It's not completely clear, but it's much better than what we started with. And, and I didn't measure the rice beforehand. I never do. All I do is kind of straighten it out, make it even, make it leveled. And the water, I do the finger, the finger trick, right? And most people go up to that first line, uh, the knuckle, the first knuckle. But I go a little bit below that. So maybe two thirds up the finger. Two thirds up to the first knuckle. That's what I do about. In general, when you cook rice, you want to use something that's a little thicker, something that's gonna hold the heat in, because that'll evenly cook the rice. Really easy. Ten minutes on high heat. Ten minutes on simmer. Ten minutes resting. Your rice would be perfect. All right. Ten, ten, ten. Right when it starts uh, boiling like this, it's about 10 minutes. So now we're gonna go simmer. Very low heat, very, very low heat. In a couple minutes, the crab should be done. All right, it's been about 12 minutes boiling in the water. There we go. Hot, hot. Right, we're gonna let these cool down and gonna peel them. Grab the apron, tear it off. Therapist, pop it off. Gills, take those off. Take his face off. And we're not gonna do anything with the, with the guts today. But we did in another video, so if you wanna see that, I'll link that in the description below. We made Dungeness Crab Dombudi. Are you eating the crab already? Oops, nope. Good meat right there. That's a lot of meat right here too. There we go. There we go. There it is. Look at this meat. Oh yeah, that's thick. Not too much meat. I only had one big claw. Uh, before we do the Dungeness crab, the rice is finished now. The easiest way to make sushi rice. Okay, first of all, just make rice. Yes. Let me just give a good quick taste. Mm hmm that's good I'm gonna just transfer everything into this bowl this is the hack right here boom this is powdered sushi vinegar all right so you don't have to mess with the mess with the liquid vinegar which is a lot more harder to do uh, if you don't have the technique down then your rice is gonna turn out mushy and uh, very wet uh, so the easiest thing is this and for home sushi this is perfectly fine tastes good too and you can find this almost anywhere i think you can even get it at safeway vons you know those kind of places and just gonna do a sprinkle of it and just mix it up and taste it and simply just taste it See if it tastes good. Use more. Sushi vinegar is basically vinegar, salt, and sugar. All right. This is what sushi is. is vinegared rice. If you don't have vinegared rice, you don't have sushi. But if you have vinegared rice, it's always sushi. That's what sushi means. Vinegared rice. Most non-Japanese people think that sushi is raw fish. You know, if you have raw fish, it's sushi, but it's not. Sushi is actually vinegared rice. So if you have anything with vinegar rice, that's considered sushi. And there's a lot of varieties of sushi. Um, you can have like chirashi sushi with things topped on vinegared rice. You can have nigiri sushi, you can have maki sushi, and the fish can be cooked or raw. 
um, that's not what makes it sushi between the cooked and the raw it's actually the rice this is gonna yield a lot more meat than the raw crab that's for sure so easy to take out the meat on this you can just clean them right up 100% full of meat so I'm just finishing up with the body meat of the crab and look at this I already have more than the raw crab I'm just gonna make a couple California rolls so we don't need to use these right now so I'm actually gonna save all the legs and claws uh, for later for me and Jocelyn to eat at home handful of rice Lay it across the top. Roll the rice down. Roll the rice down. Take your sesame seeds. Sprinkle the sesame seeds. Alright, flip it on the other side. So this one, I'll do rock crab first. Oh, this is gonna be so good. Some real California rolls right here. Couple pieces of cucumber. A few pieces of avocado. And just gonna lift it and roll it. Like that. Make sure it connects on the other side. Boom. And you take the maki soup. Maki soup is wrapped with saran wraps so the rice doesn't stick to the bamboo and you're just gonna squeeze it tightly like that roll it put it back and I like to do the edges too so there you have it with the knife a little and we're gonna cut it into eight pieces You want to make it look a little bit better, right? Because it's a little, little messed up. So you can just take the makisu again, real quick, reform it. There's the rock crab. Now let's do the dungeness. You can make it right on the right on the makisu as well just like this boom that Right. All right, well, here it is. Visually, they look uh, pretty identical, right? The Dungeness crabs up front, raw crab in the back. Blind taste test, Jocelyn's gonna feed me, and let's see if I can tell the difference between the two inside the roll. Dungeness on closer to us, raw crab closer to you guys. All right, can't see a damn thing. What was it again, Dungeness closer to me? Yeah. Cool, and raw crab closer to the camera. Mm-hmm. Oh, should I grab the beards? It's pretty cold, we can grab them. <laughs> Where'd I put the cooler? <laughs> grab it. Oh yeah, yeah, you can use. There you go. Are Should you we just cold? cheers first? Come by. Come by. Mm. All right, give it to me without soy sauce so I can taste it. Wait, hold on. 
Let me clear my palate here. All right, give it to me. You got it. Mmm. It's sort of hard to tell with all the other ingredients in there. But that one... I'm going to say that one's a rock crab. Alright. Oh. That one's Dungeness. Is it Dungeness? The first one was rock crab. Yeah. Closer to the camera. And the second one was the dungee closer to you. Oh, so I got it right, right? Nice. Yeah. Woo! I, I got it. I can't tell. <laughs> I knew it. It's easy. The texture is different. Um, much different. Yeah. Actually, I used to say the texture of rock crab I like better because it has the fibers in the rock crab, the muscle fibers. It's a lot more dense. But the dungeon is really tasty. Mm. Tasty flavor and as well as this texture that was so smooth, silky, yet with a slight, uh, slight... Mm. Mm -hmm. I don't know, a chewiness. Not a chewy, but stringiness, I guess. Yeah. But in a good way. In the rock crab? In the rock crab? You tried? Which one do you like better? I like the rock crab. You like the rock crab better? Mm hmm. I thought I was going to say I like the rock crab better just because I was like, I think I might like it better if I but try it side by side. But no, I think I like the dungeons better. Either way, it's, they're both so good. Yeah. These are like, the, yeah, go ahead. I think the Dungeness has more flavor, mm -hmm. but I kind of like the texture more. In the raw crab? Yeah, just you can feel. Yeah, you can you know? feel it chaos because the, like I said, like the muscle fibers are a little thicker. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. The it's Dungeness. Silky. Yeah, Dungeness is like silky, soft, mm -hmm. smooth, and they're both so so good, mm -hmm. so good. Which is better, crab or lobster? Crab or lobster? Before we had that last lobster video, mm -hmm. I would have said crab is better. Since I've had that, <laughs> after I've had that, I think lobster is better. Mm. What about crab ramen? Crab ramen would be good, yeah. What if yeah, you eat people... crab ramen and lobster ramen, which would be better? Oh, I think lobster ramen. Lobster ramen. Because the texture goes a lot better. The texture of lobster goes much better in ramen uh, opposed to it's nice and the meaty. crab. Yeah, the crab is going to get kind of lost in the, in the broth. Yeah. You know what I mean? The, the stock. The, the mm. broth is going to be really tasty, but the meat itself is going to get kind of scattered around. Yeah, that's true. Whereas the lobster, you can just get chunks of it, you know, so lobster is better for ramen. Got a little bit of raw crab left, and we got still a decent amount of Dungeness crab left. Let's do more, another blind taste test. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Just so you think I was uh, just getting lucky. Whichever one. Mmm, piece of shell. That's raw crab. 100%. 100, huh? Another. That's Dungeness. That's Dungeness. Does Dungeness. More? Mm hmm. Oh. Rock crab. Mm. I got it all right. Got it all right? Uh huh. 100%. 100%. Easy. The flavor of Dungeness crab is better if there's more flavor. You want to try? All right, here we go. Open. Hmm. I think that's Dungeness. You think that's Dungeness? How about this one? What do you think that one is? Dungeness. That one's Dungeness? This one. Oops. Hmm. Dungeness? 
Okay. Then. Rock, rock. Yep, you only got the first one wrong. First one was rock crab, you said Dungeness. But the other ones, you got it right. Good job. Good. That's pretty good. Oh, you want a hand roll? Mm, yeah, I'll take a hand roll. Ice on. Uh, might as well make a, one big one for you. Wow, thanks. What about you? That's all right. Look at that. There it is. There you go. Wow. There you go. You want me to feed it to you? So nice. Oh, thank you. First bite? Mmm. Woo! It's freaking cold. Mm -hmm. Thank you guys for watching another episode of Outdoor Chef Life. Appreciate you guys as always. If you like the video, make sure to hit that thumbs up and subscribe. See you guys next time. Peace.